All right, this is Precalculus, and this is uh, the review um, assessment for topic four. And in these first six problems, we're supposed to use the Pythagorean identity, Pythagorean identities to find the exact values. And I know uh, Pythagorean identity is a uh, cosine squared of theta plus sine squared of theta, whatever the angle is, is one, or just like Pythagorean theorem. So in order to solve all of these, what I can do is I can take advantage of that to find out the exact value for cosine. I'm not going to have to use arc sine or anything because I know that um, sine squared plus cos squared is 1. So sine is 3 fifths. So that means that 3 fifths squared uh, plus cosine squared equals 1. This is 9 20 fifths. So I can subtract the 9 25ths from both sides. So cosine squared is 1 minus 9 25ths. And what's great is I know that 1 is 25 25ths. So 25 25ths minus 9 25ths is 16 of them. And if I square root, that means theta would be plus or minus square root of 16 over 25, which is plus or minus 4 fifths. So now I have to decide, is cosine positive or negative? And that's where this tells me what it will be. Quadrant one is, is here. Both sine, uh, sine and cosine are positive in this. So this must be uh, positive four fifths. All the other problems are, are basically the same way. So I'm gonna crank them out. Uh, this is in quadrant two. Quadrant two is here. So sine's positive, but cosine's negative. So I'm gonna negate, negate my answer. Sine squared plus cosine squared is 1, so 5 thirteenths squared plus, and for cosine A, I'm just going to call it A equals 1. So 5 thirteenths squared is 25 1 ninths. Subtract that from both sides. A squared equals 1 minus 25 over 169. Uh, but this is 169 over 169. So 169 minus 25, 144. A squared is 144 over 169. And now if I square, square root that, square root of 144 is 12, square root of 169 is 13. And since it's in quadrant two, it's, it's negative. So cosine of theta is negative 12. All right. Quadrant four and quadrant four, cosine is positive, sine is negative. So I'm going to negate my answer. Uh, cosine is this. That squared plus sine squared, I'll just call it B, equals 1. And so if I square that, uh, ba -ba is 7, I get 49, 6 25ths. So I'm going to subtract that from both sides. So b squared equals 1 minus 49 6 25ths. But 1 is 6 25 over 6 25. So 6 25 minus 49 is a 5 76. And now if I square root that, uh, the square root of 5 76, I think it's 24. Yes, it is. I know the square root of 625 is 25, because that's where it came from. And I know that it's in quadrant four, it's going down, so the sine value must be negative. All right. Uh, next one, sine's two-fifths, cosine, we don't know. Quadrant one, so they're both positive. So two-fifths squared plus, and again, I'll just call it A. A squared equals one. So this is four twenty-fifths. Let's say squared is 1. Uh, 4 25ths, I'm going to subtract it from both sides. A squared is 1 minus 4 25ths. Uh, but 1 is 25 25ths. So that means that A squared must equal 21 25ths. So now if I square root this, it's going to be positive because it's quadrant 1. Square root of 25 is 5. Square root of 21. Square root of 21, there's my exact answer. All right, quadrant four, quadrant four, cosine's positive, sine's negative. So I'm going to negate it. Um, so 
cosine squared plus, I'll call it B, sine squared. There's one. If I square this, it's 9 one hundredths. Subtract 9 one hundredths from both sides. Uh, one is 100 one hundredths. So 100 minus 9 is 91. So B squared would be 91 over 100. If I square root that, that's the square root of 91 over square root of 100, which is 10. And again, it's in quadrant 4, so sine must be negative. Last one, number 6. Same game. Sine's 1 ninth, cosine is 2 nodes. So, sorry about that. I'll try not to make that one quite so snappy. 1 ninth squared. Plus, again, I'll call it A, A is 30 plus 1. So this is 1 over 81, plus A squared is 1. Subtract that 181st. A squared is 1 minus 1 over 81. 1 is 81 81. So if I do that subtraction, I have A squared equals the square root of, whoops, sorry, not square root yet, it just equals 80 over 81. And now I'll square root it, square root of that square, so a equals the square root of 80 over 9. The square root of 80, 80 is 16 times 5. So square root of 16 is 4, so this is the same as 4 root 5 over 9, quadrant 1 to both sides. So there's my cosine value right there. So that's 1 through 6 for topic 4.